Howdy friends, music lovers, Wes here, checking in with my September vinyl inbox. September was a good month for me vinyl-wise. We had the record show that happened a few weeks ago. Did a whole video about the record show and that was fun. Uh, fun, enjoyable video to make. In case you missed it, go back a few videos and check it out. But I do have a few pieces of vinyl here to share with you that I bought uh, throughout the rest of the month. Some mail order items and uh, various other pickups here and there. Uh, also got the chance to meet Chris and Marissa of Dixieland Farms. Uh, we went down to Universal Studios last weekend and met with them and hung out for the day and rode the rides. And It's been about seven years or so since I've been there, so... A lot of new rides there to ride, and it was a lot of fun and uh, a, really, a really enjoyable day. Uh, rained a couple times, but luckily we were in rides both times that it rained. So it was a fun day. It was fun, really fun to meet uh, Chris and Marissa. Uh, you know, it's been great to get to know them over the past few years here on YouTube, and it's always fun to to meet people in person and, and easily be able to vibe with somebody that that you've been watching for a while. So. Cool to meet you guys. It was a lot of fun to hang out. Hope we get to do it again. Yeah, I guess that's about the, the wrap up of the month. Let's go ahead and talk about some vinyl here. First thing we got here is a couple of new pickups uh, that I bought this month, it's just some new releases. First one we have here is uh, the Electric Worms, uh, side project of Wayne Coin and uh, Steven Drozd from, from uh, the Flaming Lips. Just a two-piece sort of side project from them. Music die Schwer zu twerk. And yeah, if you're if you're familiar with any of the more recent uh, Flaming Lips releases, this has some of that similar sound to it. Very, very sort of modern psych fuzzy noise sort of work to it. Uh, not, I wouldn't say this is very very good really it's just it's just okay you know this is this is definitely not great this is not going to be winning any awards or anything uh just some some interesting music and i i typically try to buy the flaming lips stuff when it comes out insert with some uh lyrics on it There's a download with it as well and it comes on some pretty cool sort of purpley pinky marbled sort of clear vinyl so pick that up. I think these were, yeah, Soundstage Direct. I, there was a coupon one weekend for 15% off and free shipping or something, so picked up these two albums. The other one I grabbed that time uh, is the new Earth album. It's been a while since we had a new Earth album, but at least two or three years, I would say, uh, since uh, Angels of Darkness, Demon Delight 2 came out. Uh, of course, Earth is a drony sludge metal kind of thing uh, does have this sort of I don't know not really an obi strip but a sort of a strip that they put on the top uh, and then a very very cool artwork on this one uh, and it has that sort of rubberized texture that some some um, bands have been using recently I think maybe the new uh, Jack White album has sort of this rubberized texture it's it's a really interesting very tactile sort of texture. Uh, the artwork, I, I just love the artwork on this. Uh, really, really colorful and interesting and uh, really cool. Always, always the artwork on these uh, Earth albums is, is pretty awesome. And I, I love the music as well. It's, 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 it takes metal and it makes it sound beautiful. Doesn't have all the screaming that I hate about metal, so uh, I really love Earth, and it was really cool to get a, a new album from them, and it's it's really good. I do suggest you uh, check this out. Uh, really enjoyable. And these are just on black vinyl, but pressed at Pirates Press, so very, very well pressed, very good sounding records, high quality stuff here, so good stuff. A good new album from Earth. I believe there was a limited edition of this that maybe was on white vinyl or something. Uh, not exactly sure. I think there was a limited edition that uh, came on a colored vinyl version, but those usually have to be ordered uh, directly from Southern Lord, and I didn't do that this time. <laughs> uh, moving on, we got a couple pickups from the uh, Arrows Aim record store, uh, which just announced that they're opening a new store. 
uh, just a, like a block or so away from where they're at now, but they're going to have uh, three times the space that they had before. They had to, they started out with just a really very tiny store. Uh, it's, it's it's very cramped, and the bins are always really full, so it's it's a, it's a lot of work to dig in there sometimes. But uh, it's it's a good thing that they're expanding. Business is good for them, and uh, it's it's a really good store, and I enjoy going there to dig sometimes. Uh, so the first thing we got here is. And yet another Tangerine Dream album. This is Cyclone from 1978. And yeah, just very, very more, uh, more spacey, uh, electronic rock, you know, kraut rock, if you want to call it that. Very cool album from them. This is a UK pressing on Virgin Records. Um, that one was twelve dollars so not not a cheap album but I uh, a very clean UK pressing of a Tangerine Dream album I had to grab it uh, next up is a, is a classic from my youth couldn't pass this one up I've been wanting this on vinyl for a while this is uh, Young MC Stone Cold Ryman from 88 I believe is when this was released uh, 89 I come off principal's office bust a move uh, roll with the punches uh, you know my name is Young. Just one of those albums that I can uh, rap along to word for word. And really good classic hip hop album here. Uh, and a really nice, uh, clean, pristine, minty copy of this. So that was eight dollars. Another one that was was not cheap, but for the for the condition and for something I really do want to own on vinyl, uh, it was it was a good price for me. Uh, along with this next one, another similar one from from my youth, another uh, hip hop album from my youth. This is Sir Mix a Lot's seminar album. Uh, this one has beepers and my hoopty, Gore Tex, uh, something about my benzo, uh, the title track seminar, some, some classic Sir Mix a Lot here from uh, you know the, my strong points in hip hop are the sort of the late 80s, early 90s. That's right around the time I got into hip hop is when uh, Run DMC released really Raising Hell. And just from then on, I was really big into hip hop until sort of the, the, the late 90s, early 2000s, um, when, when hip hop turned bad, I would say. I'm hoping for a reunion, a comeback of hip hop, so to speak, in the, in the near future. Uh, I think it's kind of in a in a down point right now, but uh, I got a couple of Discogs pickups here. Uh, first thing we have here is the debut album from Bubba Sparks, Dark Days, Bright Nights. Uh, Bubba Sparks is a southern white hip-hop uh, artist, a great rapper. I love his his lyrics. I love his, his use of words. Very, very witty. Uh, very much a throwback to that that late 80s sort of vibe of hip-hop where it was very witty and very lyrical without being you know, negative or uh, you know using a lot of profanity or anything like that just very very fun very upbeat uh, kind of songs and, and very comical uh, so uh, grab that off of Discogs wanted to have that on vinyl and then um, I'm not sure if this is his second or third album. I think it's the second album. Uh, this is his album, The Charm. And yeah, B Bubba Sparks gets over... I guess he gets overlooked sometimes. Uh, Eminem has a as sort of a, a big name in, in hip-hop, and I think Bubba Sparks is just as good as far... when it comes to lyrics. Uh, it doesn't get the respect he deserves, but... Uh, really cool to hear, the, hear this, and uh, I'm glad to own these on vinyl. And the last piece I have to talk about for this month is the soundtrack to a very odd, odd documentary. Uh, I actually went and watched the documentary, and this is the, the soundtrack to The Jupiter Menace, uh, done by Larry Fast, otherwise known as Synergy. Uh, so, so that very uh, sort of cinematic, electronic soundtrack kind of music, music that works really well for, for, for soundtracks. The Jupiter Menace is from 82, and it is a documentary posing that uh, by the year 2000, the Earth will be destroyed by magnetic polar changes and all these catastrophic weather events and everything. 
Uh, so it talks to different scientists who actually believe that that was going to happen. And it talks to sort of uh, people who are preparing for the end of the world in apocalyptic times and, and prepper kind of people. Uh, so it's, it's kind of a, a comical uh, documentary to watch at this point just because it, you know, we're well beyond the year 2000 and none of that has, has taken place. Uh, but, you know, even today there's people who are saying these kind of things, so it's, it's not something to get, to get too worked up over. And it's just a, a sort of an eye-opening thing to watch. The documentary is in its full version here on YouTube to watch, so if, if you're in for sort of a, a funny, uh, there's some laugh-out-loud moments in it watching it from 2014. <laughs> nowadays so it's it's a funny movie to watch now uh, but it's presented very in a very serious you know manner um, and so this is just some very uh, synthy taking some themes from Holst the Planets uh, the, the director wanted to use Holst the Planets and wasn't able to do that uh, so got Larry Fast to do some uh, original works that sort of work on those uh, themes and it's and it's just a very dark synthy electronic moody sort of sound that that sort of adds some drama to the uh, the end of the world ap apocalyptic kind of things they were proposing in the in the documentary so those were my uh, extra pickups for uh, September um, on top of what I got at the record show which I sh uh, showed you a few videos ago I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Hope you all are having a great week or weekend or whenever it is you're watching this. Hope you're enjoying yourselves. Have fun. Listen to music. And we will see you again real soon. Cheers.